friends. Hello. Oh, my hair is a wreck. Um, hello. So today we are going to be doing a My Thoughts Get Ready With Me about Laura Lee's apology, but this one's a little bit different. First of all, since it's only a four minute video that I can kind of go through and talk about, um, I decided I'm going to do the makeup routine I have been doing every day for summer, which has been a lot less makeup and a little bit more chilled out. It takes like 15 minutes instead of like an hour um so this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video but i think that kind of makes sense because of how short her stupid apology was so let's just jump right into it i'm going to start with the skin diva a lot of you guys actually wanted to see this tutorial of like my summer makeup routine anyway so i was like i'll just do it right now um <laughs> so i'm going to go in with my laura mercier primer so basically if you don't know which I think it would be hard not to know because there have been so many videos already made about this. I have been debated like not making one because I just couldn't do it quick enough because the apology came out and then all of the drama channels were just like, the drama channels, like props to them. If there was like a YouTube version of like an award ceremony for like news and stuff or whatever, or award ceremonies for YouTube, like, they would win the Pulitzer for their coverage on all of this shit. Like, they have been doing such a good job covering everything. Almost, like, too much, I feel. Like, they have definitely been covering everything. Like, multiple videos a day, and I'm just sitting here like, I can't do that. That's just not my truth. That's not my life. So, um, Laura Lee made her famous, finally her apology. I'm gonna use the, I got these in PR, these um, Hello Fab Avocado Concealers. Concealer, we'll just say it for the person who we're really proud of today. Um, <laughs> I'm being too mean, but I can't help it because it's so annoying. I got these in PR and a lot of you were asking if I liked them. I've been using them every single day. I really, 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 really like these. So basically, you know, I don't even really want to go through what the apology said because she didn't say anything. Uh, I honestly watched it a couple times and was just like, I don't even know what she's saying here. Like none of this, but I take issue with so much of it because it's like, what are you doing? First of all, let's just right off the bat. Why are you crying? Why? I want to know because if you're crying because you feel bad about being a racist, and doing racist stuff okay but you want to know something crazy it's like i know that's not why she's crying i know she's not crying a lot of people say fake crying i don't want to speculate because i know when i cry i don't always have tears constantly so i don't want to say it's fake crying even though it looked really fake and it seemed really fake and it didn't seem genuine but i don't really want to i don't want to go there because i feel like more of the issue is why are you crying or fake crying in the first place? Because like nothing, everything that has happened to you, I, I, I feel like if you're going to apologize to people, it shouldn't be a like, woe is me, everything sucks for me, my life is hard, blah, blah, blah. The only thing that she said in there that I was like, okay, like she should say this, is people going after her family because that's wrong if you're one of those people that is going after her family please stop it that's too far and that's not okay even though she took it too far her family didn't so they are not the ones that need to be punished here like that's that i kind of was like okay like nobody should be going after this girl's family like that's a little ridiculous to me they didn't choose to be in the limelight they didn't choose to do racist stuff so that's just like not okay to me well i don't really fully understand how this apology video got through all of the levels of like uploading. Like at no point did she think about the fact that like this was a bad idea to do this. And I will say, I know a lot of people say she's deleting comments and she very well could be. But when I went through her, her thing, I look so pale. When I went through her uh, comments last night, there was not one positive comment. There was a lot of negative was not one positive. I think when you do an apology like this, because for starters, you have to understand that nobody is forgiving you. Like people might, some people might, but the majority of people are not forgiving you right off the bat. Before you do an apology like this, you really need to ask yourself like who this apology is for. Because to me, this apology wasn't for all of the people, all of the communities, all of her subscribe every this this apology wasn't for the people she offended this apology was for her 
Like, and the thing that kills me is she, she said so many times, like, I don't want to just put something bullshit out. I really want to think about this and really put some, and then she puts out a video of her blubbering for like, and this sounds harsh, but like nobody cares that you're upset about this. Like, I know that seems really harsh and I know that's kind of like not nice, a nice thing to say, but it's the truth. Nobody cares that Laura Lee is crying and sad. We all do not care. What we cared about was the fact that you hurt an entire community of people. What we care about is that you said racist stuff. Like, I feel bad because I feel like I'm being a jerk, but nobody cares. Nobody cares that you're sad. If I thought she genuinely went on there and was crying because she was so sad that she hurt people, maybe I would see it differently, but from where I'm sitting, it looks like she went on her YouTube channel and was crying because she got caught. She was like a little kid who had gotten caught doing something bad that they knew they weren't supposed to be doing. And she was sad because she got caught. Like, and to me, that's, that's not an apology. That's just like, sorry, I got caught. Let's talk about the one thing that like immediately, I actually, I don't really tweet to like famous people cause like they're not gonna respond. <laughs> so, and if they do see it, they'll just block me. Uh, but I tweeted at Laura Lee as soon as I would watch this video in her video and this kind of sucks Because I feel as though her saying this I think maybe some people would have taken her a lot more seriously Had she not done this? Um, I still think most of us would have been like this is BS But like this meet invalidated pretty much everything she said in the video There's a lot of retweets and uh, this might not make sense to you if you haven't kept up with the situation, why this is such a problem. To me, that's such a problem because a retweet sounds different. And I know this is like a little bit like I'm being a millennial and like whatever, but like a retweet is looking at a post and just mindlessly clicking buttons. There are so, I don't even know what I've retweeted. Nobody remembers what they retweet. Like that's different. Re you still shouldn't retweet racist stuff. And if you do, you're still gonna get called on it and you're still gonna get in trouble, but that's different. That's not your thoughts that you put into words. What Laura, and that's what she's trying to present it as, is like, these are these were just not my thoughts, but I retweeted them. Like, that's what she's trying to do with that. And I think really what she's trying to do, I think I saw this on Reddit and I thought this was a really interesting point, was make it so her subscribers, who maybe don't follow drama channels and just follow her, who wouldn't know that that's not true and would think that she would just be honest in her freaking apology video, I think what she's trying to do is make it so they have this kind of idea of what happened and they're like, oh, like it was just retweets. So then people come to my video where I'm talking about this and they're like, girl, what are you talking about? It's just a retweet. It was not a retweet. It was a freaking tweet. You need to own up to your shit. I don't understand why you've been caught. It's over. It's done. You're lose. I think she lost almost 100,000 subscribers. At this point, I think she's lost over 100,000. The sad thing to me about that, first of all, I'm not really sad. I first of all, <laughs> let's just let's just say where I'm at with that. I am not happy to see someone fail. Like that does not people have been tagging me in like a lot of stuff about her losing subscribers like crazy and I don't I don't rejoice in that. I don't think it's fun to watch someone completely fail. Um that's just not me. But I don't really care if other people rejoice about it. I'm just saying for me personally, like, I just don't rejoice in that. I don't think it's fun to see someone fail no matter what they've done because I just have a weird feeling about that. But I will say, if there's anybody that deserves to lose over 100,000 subscribers, it's Laura Lee right now because I was unsubscribed already. I'm gonna use one of the Morphe uh, Jaclyn Hill palettes. I have a full review of these coming out on Tuesday tomorrow. So, because I think this is going out Monday, I'm gonna put that up on Tuesday. And then I'll have my declutter Wednesday. Everything's kind of messed up this week because of this whole drama. But I wanted to get this video out first. But I'm going to play with this palette real quick. Just to do a quick, simple look. Um, but anyway, she is losing subscribers. And I think, you know, you do something bad, unfortunately. Even if it was six years ago. Even if you think you're a changed person. It doesn't matter. To me, I'm just so shocked that this apology was so bad. Because she's not, she's losing like everything right now. Like this isn't even just about views or, I think what she's more worried about 
is the fact that Ulta Beauty is saying they're halting production and like maybe not selling her makeup. I think she should be more worried about the fact, like I think that's what she's worried about. I don't think she gives a crap if we subscribe, like unsubscribe. Like I don't think she really cares about that because that's still a drop in a bucket. No matter what she does, she's always going to have those millions. Like th that's not going to change, which sucks because I wish it could. But there's always, it's the same thing with like all the other bad people we've seen on the internet, like John Cookie and like, he, of course, he still has, like, what, 300,000? And, like, whether they're buying subs or not, I saw a lot of stuff, people saying Laura Lee was buying subscribers because of the way the, like, Social Blade looked. Can't really speak to that because I don't really know how Social Blade works. But that's something to keep in mind. A lot of people thought she was buying subscribers, and I think that's annoying because, like, just, just let it happen. I think Laura Lee is handling everything in this situation incorrectly. I'm not a PR person, so but I, I did do public relations for a little while in college. And from the basics I learned in public relations, she's really doing it all wrong. <laughs> the first thing you're supposed to do is a quick response right off the bat. Because like the way that she's handling this, I think shows to me at least that nothing has changed for her, in my opinion. Maybe she doesn't go around like spewing racist hatred anymore. Um congratulations. I don't know, like, to me, that's a basic thing you should be doing. To me, this just shows that maybe she's not necessarily outwardly racist anymore, but she is just as privileged and just as selfish uh, as she was when she tweeted those things. Not retweeted, tweeted. Because if she had learned anything anything from those and she she wouldn't be sitting there crying for herself she would be sitting there apologizing to like I may be being like annoying about this you guys can definitely tell me if I'm being annoying but like who I feel bad for are all of the innocent african-american men who have been shot by the police like I feel bad for all the men that are in prison simply because they're african-american and our laws are made to make sure that they end up there like those are the people I feel bad for I don't feel bad for Laura Lee for getting caught perpetuating all of the stereotypes that everyone has been trying to make not a thing and she says she wants to get educated like at least Logan freaking Paul talked to some people about suicide in his video. Like, are you joking? You can't even, you can't even like educate people in this situation and talk about, you're going to really blame it on some retweets instead of owning up to the situation. She has not changed and she has not learned. And I'm sorry, you only get one shot, unfortunately, at this apology. I don't really give a crap what she has to say going forward. I feel like I'm being too harsh but I also just feel like I'm over it. Like I'm so over. I could have, if she had done this right, this could have been a situation where I'm like, you know, maybe we're being like a little too harsh or maybe, you know, she has changed, like she's shown she's educated, not right away, but in like a year or two, I could be like, you know, maybe she's, she's just screwed herself forever because I don't think she's changed. She still is selfish and privileged and doesn't understand why what she did was wrong. She's still blocking people that aren't agreeing with her she's not changed and I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore with her. Like she's done for me. I don't think I'm going to really talk about her anymore unless something else crazy happens. She has such a large following of smaller, like younger girls that follow her. She is such, if you look at her intros, she does the stupid subscribe. I always hated that subscribe song, but she does that subscribe song and up all the time she has Snapchats from her young fans singing it for her as her intro. And it's like you have, that you've been blessed with this following of young women who look up to you and support you. And instead of when you screw up, which a lot of people do, the big point that people are making is like, well, everybody screws up. First of all, not everybody is racist. I'm just gonna blatantly say that. Not everybody has said something like insensitive or racist. I'm sure a lot of people have, but not everybody has, especially in a way that you could find it, first of all. Second of all, yes, people screw up. But this is an opportunity for her to teach the younger women that follow her that if you screw up, you can still be an empowering woman. You can still go on camera and say, I screwed up. Here's why I'm going to be educated. Here's what I've learned since screwing up. And like, this is what I'm going to do going forward to try and show you guys that I have changed. Instead, she went as for someone who so wants to be taken seriously as a businesswoman instead. And this is something I hate because first of all, it's not that I'm not saying women can't cry. Like, I'm not going to say that because anyone can cry when they're sad. But he, don't put it on the Internet, first of all, because you're just going to get memes made about you. And second of all, she had such an opportunity, such an opportunity 
to go on and show young girls that like even when you make a mistake you don't have to play the victim the woe is me the cry your eyes out even when you get caught up in something you did wrong you don't have to just cry and play the victim and try and be like try and be something so that way people just forgive you you can still be educated smart and a boss and explain why what you did is wrong i think so many more people would have had so much more respect for her if she showed the tweets was like this is why this is wrong this is why what i said is wrong was because of all these stereotypes i'm getting educated i know none of you and i think even just saying like i hope you guys forgive me say like i know i'm like writing her apology for her but it's like say i know none of you guys are going to forgive me right now and that's okay i'm going to keep working to better myself and then when you guys are ready to accept me again and know that i've changed and you see the change instead of just expecting the change that's when things are going to get better but none of them can just do that like as far as laura going in and apologizing to jeffrey this is the one thing she did that twitter actually told her to do um, Twitter told her to do a lot of things, but I think the biggest one was like, everybody needs to apologize to Jeffrey. So she actually did that one. But she starts it by saying like, I don't know if you guys know about the drama that's going on. Girl, we all, you're losing 100,000 subscribers. We all know what's going on. We all understand what's going on. Like, like you gotta stop playing coy about this. We know what's going on. We understand the situation. And I think her apology to Jeffrey, just like, it should, it doesn't matter. Like, what, like, apologize for saying the mean thing to him, but like, why are you only apologize? I don't understand. Why are you only apologizing to Jeffrey? Why are you not apologizing? Like, she didn't even really apologize to all of the people she'd actually affected by this. I don't know if they're so high up on their pedestals and they're so high up on their, like, we're amazing train that they just have lost the ability for common sense but it's truly disgusting to see how far removed some people can be that even when they are called out for blatant racism, they literally still can't admit that. Even when there's proof and evidence, she literally still cannot admit that she was blatantly racist. And that bothers me. That makes me so angry. And I don't care what apology she comes out with now though, that she said the criticism. It feels like the same thing with Tana Mojo, where she waited a month and a half so she could hear what everyone wanted her to say and then just regurgitated that. That's what Laura Lee's apology is going to be. She's going to watch all of these videos about people criticizing her and she's going to be like, well, this is blah, blah, blah. This is what I should say now. What you say when things first happen matter because that's your initial jerk, knee jerk reaction. If her initial knee jerk reaction is to go on camera crying hysterically and like fake crying, I don't want to say that because I feel like an asshole, but like if her version of her knee-jerk reaction is to go on and cry because it's been hard for her and she can't look in herself in the mirror and make it all about her I'm just not interested in supporting a person like that and if you are that's fine but I'm not I'm over it so um that's what I think about the apology <laughs> a lot of you guys immediately like went to my comments and asked me for my thoughts on this so I figured I'd give it to you um I'm gonna link some really good drama channels in the description that definitely covered this whole situation of events really really well if you guys want to check them out but yeah i love you guys if you like this video please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither i'm honestly just so happy you're watching me thank you i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye